Well, as I point out in my book, um, editing is not a technical process. And editing is not about the tools. I've never used Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, or iMovie, and I don't know how they work. Uh, I've worked on Lightworks and Avid, uh, Media Composer. That's about all I know about uh, digital editing. But I can say this, that thankfully, editing is not technical, because if it were, I'd be out of business. Yeah. Editing is a mental discipline and an aesthetic that has nothing to do with the tools that you're using. It's all about choosing a succession of images and choosing the proper order for those images and deciding when to get into a shot, when to get out of a shot, in what context to use it. Uh, and then there are larger storytelling questions. You know, Should we introduce this bit of information sooner or later? Should we hold it back? Should we do a flashback? Should we shuffle the order? Uh, is this shot in the right place? Is it the right length? Is it preceded by the correct shot? Is there a better context to show this? None of those things have anything to do with the tools that you're using. It's all an aesthetic about storytelling. And uh, you know, it's like writing is not about the pen. Nobody says that Shakespeare would have written better plays if he had had a word processor. Mm. So, uh, editing is not technical. It's just not technical. It's, um, it's a mental discipline, I suppose. I heard an interesting uh, talk about uh, a question that somebody raised about math. And they said, is mathematics an invention or a discovery? Mm. And I thought you could say the same thing about film editing. Is film editing an invention or a discovery? Because there are things that happen when you join two pieces of film that seem uh, perfectly natural and understandable. And then there are other situations where you put two pieces together and uh, in somebody's phrase, it makes your toes curl. It doesn't work at all, you know? Yeah. So uh, it makes me think that there's uh, something about film editing that resonates with uh, something in our minds, in our perception of our understanding of reality and how we construct uh, an image of reality for ourselves that, uh, you know, maybe we've discovered something rather than invented it.